At a regular meeting of the Jersey City Council, two employees of the Jersey City Recreation Department, Andrew Andrade and David Cosme, both spoke out against what they claimed was discrimination in a hostile work environment under Director Ryan Strother, who was appointed by Mayor Stephen Fulop. Andrade alleged that non-African Americans and those not associated with Muhammad Akil, the former chief of staff to Fulop who resigned in disgrace after racially charged speeches of his became public, were being discriminated against. Cosme, who was in municipal court last week because of a conflict with fellow Recreation Department employee Gary Nye, detailed the situation in hostile work environment to the city council. Somebody um, that works for the Department of Recreation um, threatened to smack me in the face. Um, and uh, I went to uh, Sabrina Harold, who I was told was the deputy director of that department, and she asked me to put it in writing, and I did. And, uh, and on January the 7th, at about 11 a.m., uh, a gentleman that works with the Department of Recreation, his name is Gary Nine, approached my desk in a very aggressive manner and was demanding to take my, my calendar, um, my desk calendar, but once I identified his intimidating posture way of speaking to me, I immediately walked away and at the same time he took the calendar from my desk that was given to me by a uh, co named Ronald Yudelo. And he told me that the next time I took his calendar from the desk, which I did not, my coworker that he was going to smack me in the face. Um, I uh, immediately was going to call the police and was told not to do so by a certain hour. She told me not to. I called someone who advised me to go um, in person because this guy had, this gentleman had, had threatened, threatened to smack me in the face. Um, um, so I did not do so. But when I called the person that advised me the first time, he told me, take your break and go press charges, which I did. And uh, when I was at the very night of the police station, um, the director, Ryan Straub, called me, and I told him that I was there to press charges. He told me, don't press charges, come back to the department, which I did. Um, he said he was going to handle it in the department. He sat me down and asked what, what, what had happened, and he wrote it down. Um, 
I called the person again who told me initially to go press charges. He says, I don't care what they say, just go press charges, which I did after 65. So that I had an attorney. My attorney told me that um, let's just, just um, let's drop the charges and um, and just ask the judge to instruct both of us to keep away from each other, which 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 is what I did. I dropped the charges. Um, and um, nothing, what I what I'm here is nothing has been done to this gentleman, Gary Knight. He's, he's walking around the department. Nothing was ever done. And uh, I don't feel comfortable working in that department anymore. I've been in the city for 12 years, 11 years with health and human services, and one year with the um, Department of Recreation. That place is, it's complete and total hospital. Following their speeches, Jersey City Corporation Council Jeremy Farrell and Ward F Councilwoman Diane Coleman urged the council to not address the issue because it was a human relations matter. I'm Michael Shuren with Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.